Angeles Tripling for Capital Jazz TV. It's the Capital Jazz Festival's 25th anniversary. So we're pulling out all the stops. I'm sitting here with Grammy Award winner, Lee Rittenauer. How you doing? Just fine, my girl. I like what you're doing over there. You no, know, just noodling a little bit to <laughs> serenade you. I you know what, it's not wasted on me either. You have been coming to the Capital Jazz Festival for so many years. What keeps you coming back? Well, of course, it's one of the greatest festivals, not only in the U.S., but around the world. And, and it's, uh, it, it just gets better and better, you know. I, I couldn't believe that it's 25 years. That's, 25 you know, years. And I was, you know, somebody asked me how many times I've been here. I've probably been here four or five at least, you know, so. And uh, maybe more because, you know, it's been so many years that it started, you know, so. And um, it's just the fans are the thing that drive it, you know, just fantastic fans out there. You know, you and I have, uh, we've known each other for a long time. And I've always just been a fan of your, your style. Really, and I know people try to put people in a box musically. You know, they'd say, oh, he's contemporary jazz, or he's funk, or he's pop. What does Lee Rittenauer, what do you call your music? Well, <laughs> you know, that's a, yeah, you're asking the wrong person, you know. <laughs> no, um, you know, it, it, I've been lucky to do over 40 albums now, you know, and, and played on another thousands of sessions for other people. and. Um, so I've had a chance to dip into the pop world with pop hits and Brazilian music that I love and, and then the, the smoother stuff that a lot of radio hits that way and the, certainly the straight ahead jazz. So my, my foundation is, is probably jazz based but I, I grew up in Los Angeles so and as a young guitar player because I've been playing the guitar since I was eight so I, I had a chance to you know listen to Hendrix and and Clapton and B.B. King and, and Segovia and, and uh, uh, all the jazz greats and the, and the acoustic greats and you know and I, I really as a kid I just loved the guitar so much that I, that I, I was a, a, a true chef you know taking this little color and this little and putting everything together you know so, uh, so uh, I, I guess you know when I'm on an airplane somebody asks me what do you do I'm a jazz guitarist you know that that kind of sums it up. But uh, however, it's kind of a it's a mix. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, and uh, I love all kinds of music. You know, and I love the Capital Jazz Festival because it, it really dips into a lot of stuff. You know, uh, you know you you've got a lot the vocal side of things, and you've got the f the funk, of course, and you've got a strong R and B element, and and you've got this the smoother contemporary jazz stuff, and. And then once in a while, uh, uh, something jazzier to balance it out, you know. So yeah. it's a nice, it's a nice blend here. It is a nice blend. You know, I always wonder. The artists are always so happy to come here year after year. But do you get a chance to listen to any of the other artists? Oh performing? yeah. Well, I purposely come early uh, during the day, regardless what slot I'm playing. Uh, and stay later if I'm somewhere in the middle um, and just hang out because first of all I know almost everybody yeah. so it's like friends so it's you know it's like a reunion and then um, and and I'll just wander around backstage usually with my guitar so I keep noodling like I'm doing now and uh, and then you know just talk to people and hang out and and, uh, and listen to the music you know I love it you know I'm always one to say I am the worst multitasker being able to carry on a real conversation and play beautifully like this, I'm saying, what part of your brain are you using? This, I am, I'm truly impressed. <laughs> and it, it keeps you sharp though, right? You've got to keep it going. Well, I, I have a story that I actually tell people in master classes. You know, when I first got popular in the late 70s and 80s, and I, I started to play these big venues like the Meriwether Post here, and, and uh, but especially in LA where I was from, like if I got to play the Hollywood Bowl or the mm -hmm. Greek Theater, big places out there. And you know, the managers would come, the lawyers would come, the record company would come, the friends would come, the family would come, and you have to, you know, and, then, and I want to be nice and say hello to everyone before the show, so I would do that. And, and you know, in LA, everybody wants to say hello before so they can go home early afterwards, you know. <laughs> And hit the freeway and uh, so uh, but you know I, I noticed you know I was talking to everybody and then I wasn't warmed up and focused on the show so then I told my manager I said okay I can't do this anymore so anytime I'm in LA no visitors until after the show and then I was in a dressing room by myself the whole time getting nervous you know so, so that didn't work either so then I figured out finally like well as long as I have a guitar in my hands I can say hello to anybody and hang out because this is like therapy, you know. So I don't get nervous 
And then, you know, I'll sit there and talk for an hour and a half to friends, family, fans, whatever, and, and, uh, and then, you know, go on stage, I'm ready to go. You're warmed up. <laughs> I love it. But just being able to, I guess, plan that and figure it out and be able to do well, that, do you both. Know, that, that came with practice. You it know, comes like, with practice. You know, so, you know, you're talking to your lawyer, so what about that deal? <laughs> <laughs> right. Soften them up a little bit with yeah. the music. <laughs> Lee, thank you so much. Love what you yeah. do. Keep doing what you do. And I love being here at the festival. I'll keep coming back if they oh, ask me. That's, that's so fantastic. All right. For Capital Jazz TV, I'm Angela Stribling.